Hi everybody, um, I decided to do like a really classic look today, um, just like a classic red lip, kept everything quite matte and then just the main focus was you know the lashes, the liner and the, obviously the red lips and the red nails to match so if you want to find out how I created this look, keep watching. So I'm going in with my Stop and Wow Skin Perfector. Um, that's available from QVC just to prep the skin. I'm using that all over my face. And then I'm going in with my MAC Lingering Brow Pencil. My eyebrows are needing tinted at the moment so I'm just going slightly heavier than usual. And I'm following the natural shape of my brow. Then I'm going in with my MAC Studio Fix Fluid, that's in shade NW20 and I'm going to apply that with my MAC Dual Fibre Brush, it's the big brush that I'm taking to do this. And then I'll just buff that into my skin. Then I'm going to go in with my P. Louise eyeshadow base in shade 0.5 and I'm just patting that in with a concealer brush. Then finishing off my brows with the MAC Give Me Brow, um, pulling forwards then backwards to add some extra volume. Then I'm going to add some MAC Upward Lash Mascara. Then I'm going in with my MAC Next to Nothing foundation. This is meant to be worn on top of your usual foundation just to give you that sort of flawless airbrushed finish. And that's in shade medium. And I'm taking that on a mini dual fiber brush from MAC. Then I'm going in with my Doll 10 concealer in shade light. And I'm going to take that on a mini Real Technique sponge. This is one of my favourite concealers. Um, the only one that really compares to it for me personally is the Laura Mercier. But this is definitely one of my favourites if you're looking for, you know, that ultimate coverage. Then I'm going in with the NYX Contour Palette. This is amazing if you're looking for a good contour palette, you know, on a budget. And I'm taking the two shades at the bottom, just under the lightest shade at the top. Um, then it doesn't have names for the shades on the palette. And I'm taking that on a MAC tapered brush and I'm catching under the cheeks and the forehead area as well. So I'm buffing that into the forehead area. Ideally, I would like a big fluffy brush, you know, to really blend it in. And they, but I never had it with me. And then I'm just doing some light contouring around the nose area. So I had to just make do with my Real Technique sponge just to buff in the harsh edges. Then I'm going in with my MAC um, Prep and Prime for my lips. This is great if you have any dryness in your lips um, or you know, you're know you wanting to wear a matte lipstick, I would always suggest using that beforehand. <coughs> then I'm going in with the red MAC Ruby Woo lip liner just to outline and fill in my lips before I go in with the matte Ruby Roo, um lipstick. If you can hear noise in the background, it's my little dog Bree, she's barking. Then 
it's really hard to find a good red lipstick, but I would say that Ruby Woo is definitely, you know, a, a, a cult favourite. It's a classic. It'll suit most people. And it's got a matte finish. Just be so careful when you're using red or dark lipsticks. You know, you need to be really precise. Catch the inside of the lip. Um, and always make sure you use lip liner. So then I'm going in with my MAC blush palette that I had made up myself. And I'm going in with shade Bamboo and I'm taking that on, it's like a cream based blusher. And I'm going to take that on a mini dual fibre brush. Sometimes it's hard to pick up the colour with a cream blush but um, I prefer it to a powder. The dual fibre brush seems to work quite well for it. But you could always, you know, pat it in with your fingers or even just, you know, the side of a flat foundation brush just to make sure that you're getting the colour payoff that you want. Had to spend a bit of time building it up. Sometimes when you're using a cream blush, sometimes you feel like it can lift off. So it's just down to your technique and having a bit of patience. But... I really feel that, you know, the, the finished effect's worth it. Then I'm going in with the Morphe Plum Palette. Um, it's the Morphe 35P Palette. Although it's mostly plum colours in it, I decided to keep the look or the eye look, you know, quite neutral. So I just picked out, you know, the lightest, most natural shades to tie in with the red lip. So I'm taking that middle shade um, at the very end. Two down from the lightest shade. Again, that's my only complaint with the Morphe palettes. They don't have the you know the names of the shades on them i think it actually does come with it you know when you purchase it but i would need to double check that but just for reference it's two down for the lightest shade and i'm just patting that over you know the entire lid just leaving a wee gap between you know, where that stops just above the crease and, you know, leaving that gap just below the brow bone. And I'm patting that in with a, a MAC brush. It's just the flat shader brush from MAC. I'll list all the brushes in the products below as usual. It's subtle, but it definitely, you know, adds that little something that you're needing. When you're creating that sort of classic red lip look. So I'm just continuing that on the other side now. Packing the colour onto the lid. Just checking I've got it even on each side as well. Then I'm going to take my tapered um, blending brush for MAC. This gives me more control, you know, than the big fluffy one. And I'm going to dip into the darker shade. It's the second row for the bottom. Just 
it's like a deep brown colour just next to the black and I'm just rotating that back and forward um, just slightly above the crease area Then I'm taking a Makeup Forever brush, it's got a slightly slanted edge and I'm going into the lightest shade at the very top of the palette and I'm just using that to highlight the top of the brow bone and the inner corners. So now I'm going in with my 3D Mink Lashes. I really do like these lashes. Unfortunately, I can't remember where I got them from. Um, I had purchased them online. Um, but I'm sure you could find a very similar pair if you just, you know, Googled it. So now I'm going in with the MAC Smouldering Black Eyeliner. This is great for the waterline. If you want something that's going to stay in place. It's really waxy. Um... So it won't budge and I'm running that along the lower lash line and also along the top inner corner. Then I'm just popping on my mink lashes um, with my lash applicators, giving them a pinch just to make sure they're in place. Sometimes that can be the trickiest part. It either works first time or it can be a bit tricky. So that's the finished look. Just making sure I've not got any red lipstick on my teeth. Um, quite happy with the way the look came out. And I'm looking forward to doing more videos in the future. Now that I've discovered the magic of editing. <laughs>